summer school, would you welcome Mark Harmon? <laughs> My sisters. <laughs> your sisters. <laughs> Got a lot of sisters out there. Yeah. Good to see you. Thanks, John. Same. You know, I have known your dad. I worked with your dad when he was at KNXT. When I first came out in uh, the Midwest, I think about 1950, 51. And uh, most people, if you're not that old, your dad, of course, was a great All-American football player. How old were you when you first realized that? Your dad was famous. Uh, well, you know... A kid at the park told me my dad won the Heisman Trophy. That's true. I, I mean, that's how I grew up finding, finding it out. And uh, I went home, and there was a reel of 33 touchdowns that my dad scored at Michigan in right. the basement. I used to put that on the projector and watch that. And, and I kid about it, but honestly, I was about 10 years old before I realized my dad ever got tackled. <laughs> because all they showed were the highlights running, right? Absolutely. He was awesome. I mean, I didn't, I went to the park and I didn't understand why I couldn't score every time. That was a pretty healthy environment to grow up in. Yeah. He was a marvelous, marvelous yeah, football he player. He's a nice guy, too. Uh, that's nice to say. Yeah. Be good friends with your dad. Yeah. You played football at UCLA. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I did. I, you know, I, I, didn't, I didn't play as well as my dad did at Michigan. Did people expect, was that a hazard? You know, you follow Tom Harmon. You go out. And a lot of people expect, well, here's another Tom Harmon, and that's got to be tough to, to well, carry in a way. People expect that, that, you know, along about the time I came out of my mother, my dad handed me a football. That's kind of what they think. <laughs> and, uh, and that's not the way it was, really. A nun, a nun actually showed me how to throw a football. You're putting me on. First grade nun, which probably accounts for the way I throw a football. <laughs> but, but, but really, I mean, my father, he wanted to make sure that I wanted it, you know? Yeah. And to do that, he stepped way back. And, and, and plus, he was busy, you know? He was broadcasting yeah. and and not home a lot, and I never questioned about how hard you worked, you know. Yeah. I just figured that's the way it was. Anyway, you're now a very successful actor. What was the first thing you did? I did an episode called Ozzy's Girls. Uh, Ozzy Nelson, he used to swim on the beach where I was a lifeguard down in South Laguna. My sister was married uh, to Rick, right? and I knew him a little bit because of that, but I used to really get to know him on those afternoons at the beach. And uh, he came by one day and, and said, look, you know, I've got this actor who, who's sick, uh, and can you come and replace him for a couple of days? He, he called me when the spring of my senior year at UCLA, and I went down, and I played a character named Harry King Kong. I wore a complete... Harry King Kong? Harry King Kong. I wore a complete drill outfit, yeah. And, and I had a line. I, had, I got to say, uh, hi, my name is Harry King Kong. Which way is the Empire State Building? <laughs> and I, I read it just about like that. <laughs> <laughs> And that, that it bit you, huh? The acting bug? It did. I just thought it was great. And, um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I, that was it. I, yeah, I started after it about then. What was the one? Somebody told me you were in a picture where you did impressions or? Uh, well, yeah, as Harry King Kong. Oh, as Harry King Yeah, Kong. he did John Wayne John poorly. Wayne. Yeah, because I do it poorly. And, and he, did, he did Jimmy Stewart even more poorly. Right. Was yeah. it supposed to be? A... No, it was supposed to be well done. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but... <laughs> how, how did can, I, you, can I just bark did, like a dog or something? How did, how, did, <laughs> how, how, did, how did John Wayne go? John Wayne, uh, he, he'd say, uh, he'd say, uh, he'd say, I don't care if you love me, Missy, I got a wagon train to move. Thanks. <laughs> Have you started yet? <laughs> okay. You dirty rat! You I dirty, heard you dirty rat! <laughs> you know, uh, we had Carl on the show...